I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. So this is just a brief message to let you know that the weather is not always nice when we do video. <laughs> so I thought I'd just do a little segment here of us having to give Cinder a walk. We don't have to. But uh, we do it rain or shine. And it's not always not always pretty, not always nice at the beach. In fact, this is the norm. So uh, anyway, if you're gonna go camping or RVing in the winter, you gotta be prepared for different kind of weather. Anyway, we're still having a good time. Cinder's a water dog, so she doesn't care. <laughs> we're not quite <laughs> water people, but we're making do. We're not we're, letting uh, it stop us. <laughs> We're at Thousand Trails at Seaside. We're going over to the family side, which is actually a pretty good walk from the other side that we're at, where there's a pool and a hot tub, but it's more designed for family and kids over here. So anyway, we're checking it out. But once again, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. So not every day is glamorous when you're RVing. So we happen to get some dry weather here in Seaside. And uh, so this is a great opportunity to flush the septic tank. So to do that, um, I'm going to show you my hookups here. But, so we're kind of far away again from, we've got the uh, septic that goes all the way to the back. And then <coughs> you look over here, we have a, uh, a black hose, white hose. White hose is our fresh water. This black hose is one of those uh, retractable hoses and it's really convenient and I know they're cheap and uh, if it breaks I'll just get another one they're only like 14 bucks but they're so handy anyway so what that's doing right now is we have water coming from the faucet over here going into the tank and it's actually filling up my septic tank and we have it, the valve closed so it's filling up and what we do is when we get about three quarters full we pull the lever and flush it all out again and that's, uh, we do that about three or four cycles. And uh, that allows us to uh, get all the paper and remnants out of that tank. So, uh, like I said, not every day is a, a fun day. <laughs> yes, I have company. Hi. Um, but it's job has got to be done if you're going to have an RV. So, there you go. So why I'm sitting here having so much fun doing the septic tank flush out, which I'm going to do four flushes help get that tank cleaned out is you might have noticed I'm going to show you my hoses so if you look at the hoses you notice it's insulated and what it is is insulated and has a, uh, a heating coil in it so we don't have freezing temperatures but next week we're going to go east and head inland where the temperatures are 10 20 30 degrees at night and if I'm at a park all I do is make sure I plug in, put power to those cords, we're set to go. So uh, just another piece of RV advice, uh, I always have my water hose available to be heated to keep from freezing, flush your tanks, and uh, just it's something you got to do, you just can't play all the time. So anyway, hope that's helpful. Well now we get some chores done, flushing the tanks. Stuff. We're going to take a little ride going south and passing up Cannon Beach and see if we come across anything. So hopefully this next segment will show you something cool. So you never know. You just hop in the car and go see what happens and you never know. We've got all of our equipment and extra clothing so who knows. So let's check it out.